The VLEC study is the culmination of uh, several years of clinical research, uh, which began with uh, uh, a phase 1b2 study, which examined the role of low-dose ARAC uh, in combination with the BCL2 inhibitor for patients uh, with AML, uh, predominantly older patients who were considered unfit for intensive chemotherapy. And uh, the low-dose ARAC plus uh, venetoclax study uh, resulted in quite promising response rates, uh, as well as uh, median overall survival, which led to the development of this uh, pivotal uh, phase three study called VLEC. So VLEC was a multi-center randomized placebo-controlled study, which was performed in patients with treatment-naive AML. The patient population included those who were aged 75 years or older, or patients aged between 18 and 74 who were considered unfit for intensive chemotherapy on the basis of at least one uh, specific factor which uh, defined these people as uh, not being uh, suitable for chemotherapy. The VLEC study also included uh, patients who had prior exposure to hypomethylating agents, and this comprised 20% of the uh, study population. The median uh, age was uh, 76 uh, in this study, and overall there were 211 patients who were randomised in a two-to-one uh, manner to low-dose ROC plus venetoclax uh, after a dose ramp up to a plateau dose of 600 milligrams, uh, or placebo was the control arm in combination with low-dose ROC. The primary endpoint was overall survival, and uh, this presentation at EHA is a six-month updated post hoc analysis. And the final result showed an overall uh, improvement in uh, survival from 4.1 months in the low-dose ROC plus placebo arm to 8.4 months in the venetoclax plus low-dose ROC arm, which was associated with a hazard ratio of 0.7, which means that there was a 30% reduction in the risk of death with a p-value of 0.04. So there was also a statistically superior overall response rate uh, with 48% uh, in the low-dose ROC plus venetoclax arm compared to 13% in the control arm. There was also a superior uh, improvement in event-free survival in patients receiving venetoclax, as well as a higher rate of transfusion independence, improvement in patient-reported uh, outcomes. Furthermore, uh, there was a subgroup analysis done, and there was a particularly uh, promising uh, response rate in patients with the subgroup defined by nuclear phosmin mutation positivity where the response rate was 79% in patients receiving venetoclax plus low-dose ROC. At this uh, meeting, there was also a, uh, an updated analysis uh, of the Phase 1b study, uh, now with 3.5 years of median follow-up. Uh, and in this uh, study, it showed that this NPM1 mutant subgroup had a 64% uh, overall survival at two years, uh, which is certainly uh, quite promising. With respect to VLEC, uh, the main limitation of this trial was that the study did not meet its primary uh, endpoint at the first analysis. However, this first analysis was done with only 12 months of follow-up, and it was only after an additional six months of follow-up that the overall survival uh, outcome became uh, st uh, statistically significant. So why did the uh, VLEC study perhaps not perform as well as had uh, originally been uh, hoped? Well, first of all, uh, it should be noted that 22% of patients failing the control arm with low-dose ROC alone were salvaged with intensive chemotherapy, compared to only 8% of patients uh, uh, receiving placebo. And this may have uh, brought the survival curves closer uh, together. Secondly, in VLEC, the early death rate was uh, 13%. Uh, compared to only 6% in the phase 1b study. And so it seems as if uh, in the randomized trial, uh, a sicker population was uh, included uh, in the study. Furthermore, 20% uh, of patients uh, in VLEC had prior hypomethylating agent exposure, and this very difficult and poor risk population uh, was excluded from the VLEA study, uh, which perhaps compromised uh, the outcome with VLEC to some extent. 
However, for, uh, for many countries where um, uh, azacitidine is not available, the results of the LEC study are certainly very clinically relevant uh, and important and demonstrate the importance of adding venetoclax to low-dose ARAC and the potential to improve a number of clinical uh, parameters, including uh, overall survival. In conjunction with the results of the Viali A study, which will be presented as a late breaking abstract at EHA this year, uh, venetoclax, uh, I believe, is now firmly cemented uh, as an important uh, 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 and pivotal uh, medication uh, for older patients with AML uh, and the treatment of uh, older patients and those considered unfit for intensive chemotherapy.